Hi, I'm Chef Lisa Brisch, and today I'm at the Newark Natural Foods Farmer's Market. It's the indoor winter market, and I'm doing a demo making Chef Patty Anastasia's sweet potato hummus. Um, so I have all my mise en place out, which is just your ingredients and equipment. I have sweet potatoes that I've already roasted, and I have drained and rinsed these uh, garbanzo beans or chickpeas. I have my um, multigrain pita chips and some raw baby carrots to use in dipping. I have my lemons, olive oil, tahini, cumin, and za'atar, salt and pepper, and I'm ready to go. So I am making sweet potato hummus and what I have here is garbanzo beans or chickpeas and I'm making this in the food processor. They have been rinsed and drained and actually I microwave these for about a minute and that should take out any of the graininess that you sometimes get when you make hummus. So these are um, warm. And then I have roasted sweet potatoes. I just took um, Sweet potatoes, baked them at 400 for about an hour until they were tender. And then scooped out the flesh when they cooled down a bit. And this is two roasted sweet potatoes, two medium. Okay. And then the next thing I'm going to add is garlic. You could throw them in whole, but I'm gonna mince them because sometimes when you have a lot of things in your food processor, the garlic just doesn't get smooth enough. 
All right, and then I have a teaspoon of cumin, two tablespoons of olive oil, quarter cup of sesame seed paste or tahini, and I need a quarter cup, or yes, a quarter cup of lemon juice, and then I'll give it a spin. So I just have some lemon halves here. Okay. All right, quarter cup. And then we'll add some salt and pepper to taste. And then I'm getting ready with some water in case it needs to be thinned out. I'm going to give this a stop and scrape down the sides. It makes a lot. I'm going to go ahead and add it in through the chute. I'm going to do about two tablespoons and see how that goes. I think this is perfect. And now I need to just taste it for seasoning. Yep, that's good. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in a serving bowl and then garnish it with a little bit of more olive oil and some za'atar, which is sumac, sesame seeds, and thyme.